going to get my marks. You'd put a bit of tape on here, wouldn't you? And you'd have your marks on the floor already, wouldn't you? So you could put your straight edge on it, couldn't you? So but we're just going to do it like this for now. I'm about to show you, you can do it without a curve card, but I've got one, so I'm going to use it. And the 45 template is the same size as one of the notches which I've just learned, which is pretty fucking cool. So anyway, you're going to get it in the back notch, pull it around, Now, when it comes to the old uh, cutting the curve around here, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really, I like these little fucking scribers from Amazon. They are brilliant, but I find it easier to use on the, on the curve cutter to get that scored line. And what it is, is instead of trying to create this template, it flows into it, so you don't get the kink there. But you do have to concentrate, once you've got it in there, concentrate where both wheels touching it all the time. Put it round, you know, and get it in that one end. As you do these, you know that, that that curve is such a bastard if it ain't right, isn't it? Actually, I was going to use your flat blade for that. I remember Neil telling me once, like, the flat blade does a better cut tile to tile. I think he's right as well as usual. Now what I tend to like to do quickly, before I cut the curve in, I'll throw some of the border ones in so that they're going to lock and hold everything in place while I cut it in. The border's five and I want to cut in both ends. I'm just going to allow myself sevens for now. Cut them all down sevens. will be movable you could get another one in there but we're just going to see and wait till the curve comes in first so cut away to find your curve run is straight line there straight line there set your dividers to where it touches the wall in the corner and that's your curve but here I'm just going to use my Ball nose board, which I am now going to get made, lads, so they will be on order as from next week, probably. So, this is the fun bit now, really, watch. Let's get this set up. Right, so. Run off a few more sevens. Da -da -da -da. Got 
quite important you do get in the right size, and I'll show you why in a minute. But as soon as you've done that, you're going to want to find the centre of the seat. So that's three, my first. So where's Ball Nose Buddy? It's this one. So it's not that one. Bring it down. So I sort of know it's that one. I'm going to do mine just on the tip of that one there because it's a bit of arse about face there. Make a little mark. Make a little mark. They're going to be your points. Now you just get a straight edge or ruler or whatever you want to use and you put it from your centre point there. And you put it to the point. First cut, do the same the other side, get to that mark and dead to your centre point. That's all it is. Just pull that little line. Now, you can do it with a guillotine, but it is better to do it with a guillotine, you know. So let's just do it with a good thing. Uh, these are where the lights do come in handy because uh When you want to see these marks to line them up, when you're over it, you can't see it. So the torches basically just give you that bit of viewing so you can see where it casts a shadow over when you lean over, especially if you're doing it in well lit areas. I mean, that's, you definitely need it then. Not so much for just the straight cuts if you're doing just you know what I mean, just cutting down and, well no, park out saying, you ain't got to think. It's more when you start doing your angles. Uh, just stick tank in there to hold that in place and I'm going to run. Blow the wedges off at that point. Your rubbers in. Da, 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 da. Up to your two marks, line up, and whatever you've got there. Put that in there. Now, because they're so big, obviously, you're going to get a lot of curve out of the first one, but because they're not half turns or full turns, you then go on to the uh. Straight. So in theory, if you were to put you on your line there, and then you've already got your dividers set, in you? So where it hits your line there, bring that round, and it should come back to hit the line there, all just about. Can you see the ball nice in there? Yeah. Put them in. And look, you've almost got it. I oh, fucking have got it. See what I mean? See, now you've got those wedges there. You've got them perfect. Now, if you're...